YouTube, what's good? DJ Danny here, back with another gig log. I am on my way to the Portuguese church here at Bridgeport, Connecticut. This event is for the Portuguese school, happening in Bridgeport. And uh, yeah, should be a good time. Before I continue, let me just recap what happened last week. Uh, Sunday was Portugal Day, and the Portugal Day in different parts of Connecticut slash New York. Um, so last week I was in New Jersey for Portugal Day. Tomorrow I'll be in uh, Hartford, Connecticut for Portugal Day. The, um, so last week I blew my speakers, as you all know. Once I got home, it wasn't actually blown. Okay, so I think I had more than one thing going on. Number one, yes, I did blow a top. I was constantly checking how, uh, how the sound was, so, you know, curiosity was killing me. I wanted to make sure I wasn't blowing anyone's ears out. So I would always go, take a walk, everything was fine. I lowered the music before the actual dancers got out. Long story short, two things going on. Number one, yes, I blew a speaker, was one of my tops. Yes, I went across the street, had them as a backup, my main setup, the Eval 50s, brought them all the way down, did the job, finished it. I think, honestly, in all honesty, I think it was more than enough uh, for this picnic outside. So, yes, maybe my other speakers were overkill, but I also didn't know what I was walking into. The second thing was my subs. The subs literally turned off. Now, I don't know, because I blew one of the tops, did it affect the voltage or whatever was coming out, the power coming out of the one outlet I used for two 6,000 watt amps? I do not know. But nonetheless, it did affect my speakers. It did affect the subs. There was a point where I actually grabbed the wires from the tops and went to each sub. Now, the, the top that was working, I grabbed the uh, Nutri cable and I went to a sub to see if I had any sort of juice. Now, being under the fire of, you know, holy shit, this happened to me, what do I do? Um, knowing I had the backup, I still freaked out a little bit, so, I, uh, I grabbed the, the wire that was on the working top, the non-blown top, and went to the subs, and I got no power. Now, the only thing I don't remember is that I turned the volume up on the amp. Mind you, there was a few hundred people there. I was freaking out. I was under a gun. Dead silence. I was like, holy shit, I gotta get something going. So, anyways. Long story short, sorry to carry this on, but my four subs are working. They are not blown. The very next day, I hooked everything up in my garage. I did have the one top that was blown, and I did have my four working subs. Absolutely flawless. I mean, they were working, no blown speakers. They were pounding, so at the end yes i lost one top i did go to my local store i ordered a new woofer cost me about i think almost 400 dollars uh ev no longer recones i don't know if you guys know this note to self note to everyone ev no longer re uh recones speakers they actually just sell you a new woofer so i paid 400 dollars for a new woofer and I still have to install it myself. But good thing is I thought it was a lot worse than what it was. I thought I blew all five minus that one working top. So at the end I was happy and I bought the Everse 8. So as a gift to not blowing my subs, I treated myself to a little ceremony speaker, which is the Everse 8. Um, so, that's, I guess, how I work. I don't know if you guys work this way. Guys, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share, like the videos. 
I do this out of, uh, you know, showing you guys what happens in my part of town here in Connecticut. I know there's a few DJs from Connecticut, but you know, everyone has their own little ways of working things out. So that was my way. Um, in any event, I am on my way. I just got here. I'm gonna set up. Brought something new out today though. I'll show you when I get back. All right, YouTube, check it out. Surprise. I do have the Mesa 2 from Pro X. This is what I bring to normal events now. Uh, no longer bring in the Danny Max booth. Okay. Um, the speakers, Evo 50s. And uh, they're actually the churches. I am going to borrow them for the day. Um, figure they're here. I saved my back. I will be fully responsible if anything happens to them. So, let's see what I got here. Sorry, I thought I had a cleaner lens. I do have my Asus laptop that I didn't plug in yet. Got my Mackie mixer. Took my controller out of my table. So now I am planning on getting a new uh, controller for the table. I'm planning on the Rain 1 or the um, Rev 7. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Um, but I, uh, for now, unless it's a wedding, I am no longer bringing out the Danny Max booth. I figured, you know what? It killed me enough last week to uh, have it outside, getting the dust all over the place that I uh, finally decided to open Pro X Mesa 2 box and took this bad boy out. Now I did put it together. It does come with a case, you know, back in a case. I was all flabbergasted of how it went together. There is, I guess, a special way to put it back together. As I was taking it apart, I didn't pay attention. And uh, now I'm stuck just putting it. Any way it can fit in the bag, I put it in. So it does come with the white scrims, the black scrims. Also comes, I don't know if anyone knows, comes with the other two scrims, black and white also, with the slit in the middle, because if I want to put a TV, um, it does have a split in the middle to uh, hang the TV comes with the bracket for the TV so if anybody was wondering on if they should get this table or not I don't know if anyone's ever actually said it on YouTube but yes all together four scrims and it's not this scrim is like a pretty thick like I don't even I, I don't know I don't know if I even call it a scrim I don't know what I'll call it but it's very thick um, the white one is also the same way. I don't have any lighting today. I am going to use the church hall lighting, which are pretty good. There is a ton of people here, so we have about 130 people. But should make out for a good night. Once again, Danny Max Booth is not here today. Um, but I did forget one thing. I did forget to bring the power cord for my laptop, which I do have two. I have one that's inside the Danny Max booth and one that I have at home uh, by my computer. So when I update my uh, laptop and when I work on the laptop and the music and everything, I do plug it in. So I do have two power uh, boxes for that. I'll be back. I'm gonna place the uh, phone down, record some of the event, the graduates, and uh, take it from there. We're gonna try this again. Here's the cook, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Marais right there, that got this party going. Great job. We always do our best, that's all we can do. Not one complaint, not one complaint here tonight. No, no, there's no complaint. The rest of the kitchen, here we go, look, they're hiding, but they're in there. We got the team out there. They got the team. All right.
por último, os últimos são sempre os primeiros, Peter Rodrigues. Vejo-nos no futuro, prometedor e uma vida de sucesso. Check out the desserts before I turn off the lights. What's going on YouTube? I am back. So I disappeared for a while. I know while I was DJing, I uh, didn't come on too much, but uh, it was busy, busy time. I went with uh, a lot of Portuguese music. Towards the end, I started switching it up just a little bit. And listen, it was supposed to end at 11. It is now 12.30. So I ended at about 12 o'clock. So I went an hour over. Um, you know, who would have thought? Great time. So tomorrow, in just a few hours, I'll be waking up, getting ready to go to Hartford and do the outside picnic there, which is for Portugal Day. I'm excited about this one because uh, once again, I'm bringing out the big boys. I do, I do uh, have my assistant coming with me he has a pair of speakers that he's gonna let me borrow and um, even though they're not a uh, name brand on the outside I believe they are either JBLs or EVs um, the cabinets are different cabinets uh, are very old looking but for the sound and for this party for this picnic it should be excellent um, as you know, last week I blew one of my tops. I am bringing my uh, four subs again. I am bringing my power ramps, so I'll be covered there. Um, but for tonight, great gig. I'm exhausted, sweating again. It's hot. It was hot in this venue. It was hot in the in the church hall. Um, they had some fans going, but. I'm underneath the house lights and they were just blaring. So anyways, good night everyone. I'll see you in the morning.